Hi everybody, my name is Kenna. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am Wish you weren't so fing awkward, bud. Gonna show you guys all of the plant shopping that I did. Um my birthday was yesterday and I did a lot of birthday shopping and this is probably all the shopping I will do for the rest of the winter and for the rest of at least quarantine. So let me show you what I got. <sighs> So Kate and I are going on a trip down to Provo today and we decided to stop at Orchid Dynasty, which is in Salt Lake on Harvey Milk Boulevard. Um, it was it was small, but it was really pretty. Everything was a little bit out of my price range, so we decided not to get anything, but Kate had fun looking at all the plants. And he's eating my debit card. Good thing I washed that right before I handed it to him. He also had a donut, so he's a little bit of a mess. Next up is Cactus and Tropicals in Salt Lake, and then we're gonna go down to Provo and come back up and go to the one in Draper. Okay, so at Cactus and Tropicals I feel really dumb because I had him in his car seat in the wagon and I was looking at plants and I turned away to look at plants for one second and his wagon started rolling down the sidewalk and somebody like pointed it out and I was like, oh, oh no. So I had to run and go grab him, but that was probably the highlight of my trip so far. Um, but I just got done at Highland Gardens and honestly, it's not as cool as last time I was there. I think maybe because last time I was there was my first time and I was kind of just like blown away.
y'all. Next up is Cactus and Tropicals in Draper. weekend going plant shopping. Um, yesterday I went all the way down to Provo and went to a couple of shops down south. Now I'm up visiting my sister Amy and Logan and Emily just flew in and she is currently living in Arizona. So we're all just hanging out in Logan and Preston, Idaho. So we're, uh, we're shopping around for clothes mostly for them and then for me we're hitting up Freckle Farm which is one of my favorite plant shops in Utah or at least in northern Utah.
Freckle Farm was a bust. I didn't find anything that really jumped out and made me want to buy it for Amy um, as a housewarming gift. But I'll try J&J &J on Monday, probably. Let's show you guys what I got. So I went all the way down to Provo, all the way back, all the way up to Logan, all the way back. Then I did some shopping around where I live and then my husband did a little bit of shopping for me. So today is the day after my birthday and now that everything has died down, I wanna show you guys what I got. So brace yourselves, there's a lot. <laughs> Let me start with what I got from Cactus and Tropicals. So first of all, I am going through a kick where I want only common plants, really. I want plants that make me happy, not ones that I feel like I need to collect because they're rare. So these are common plants, but they're plants that really I like. So let's see, I got two, two golden pothos. One of them, they both look like they really need watered, but um, this other one is way too big and I have it hanging downstairs. I need to repot almost all of these plants. Um, but yeah, I got a couple golden pothos and these are what make your house look like a jungle and I feel like I really need that during the winter because I feel depressed a lot. <laughs> and jungles make me happy. Plants make me happy. So I got a golden pothos. I'm just going to set this. Um, and then I got an enjoy pothos. So those... I got to hang up and I will need to repot. Um, another one that I got was a neon pothos. Pothos, pothos, just say it with confidence and people will think you're right. Anyway, so here is my neon pothos, pothos. I'm gonna say pothos because that's how I say it. But it has a little bit of variegation, green variegation. And I thought that was pretty cool, so I got it. And then I went to Animal Arc down in Orem and I got myself some dwarf white isopods for my next vivarium. If you guys are interested in my vivarium builds, let me know in the comments. I will eventually make a video on it or maybe I'll do an in-depth vi in-depth video on the vivarium that I already have. I have two so far and Josh and I are working on a 75 gallon one for another birthday present for me. Oh, so I went to Mill Creek Gardens in Mill Creek. That's kind of close to Salt Lake in case you're wanting a reference. It's more east. Um, so I got, <laughs> this was on the clearance rack and I ended up putting it in a pot just so that I could take the nursery pot and use it for something else so I could give a gift to somebody because I got rid of all my nursery pots. Um, but I got some Ficus pumilla corsifolia. It's also known as string of frogs. I really like this plant for terrariums and vivariums, so I got it. I used to have some, but I keep killing it because I keep forgetting about it, and I don't know what cultivar this is, but it's creeping fig is another name for it. Ficus repens, that's what this says. Another thing that I got was a Skindapsis pictus silvery Anne, and I have Argirius and Exotica right now. And the difference between, maybe I'll insert a video no, I won't. The difference between this one and um, Argirius or Silver Lady is that, so this one has frosted tips. So I really like this one. It's just really pretty. These plants make me very happy. Um, and when they start curling, you know that they need water. So they're kind of foolproof. If you just see that it's starting to curl, water it and you're good. It can do low to medium light. Um, I don't put it in bright light because they will fry but it also can handle lower humidity. It prefers higher humidity, but it can handle the lower humidity. And then also, I gotta show you guys what like the most crazy, awesome find was at Home Depot near my house. Well, first of all, I had to get myself a pot of, um, a hanging pot of Brazil philodendron because it's my favorite philodendron, even more so than I like rare philodendrons. But another thing that I got is I came across some Hoya Curtisii. There were like 30, uh, 30 different hanging pots of it and I ended up picking the healthiest one that I could find but even then it's still yellowing which tells me that the soil is like most Costa Farms soil. Very very peat heavy. 
So I will be switching out the soil on this one. And <laughs> I got another one from J&J. &J. <sighs> Stop buying plants, McKenna. And then I also got plants on my way to visit a friend. One of my friends sold me a Pelionia. This one is also going to be a vivarium plant. I just think that it's really cool. It will shingle up the sides and I really need plants that cascade down or grow upward. So I'm gonna be planting a lot of plants at the base or just like along the wall to climb upward that um, will kind of accent our tree frogs that we're gonna get. Also, I got another Pelionia. This one here, I believe this one is Daviana. I don't think that's right, but so this one is um, Pelionia repens, and this one is Daviania, something like that. But I got it from J and J. Another, I cannot tell because there looks like there's some leaves of Argirius, and then there's some leaves of uh, Silvery Anne. So that's a mystery. I got two little baby um, Philodendron Brazil, and. Another thing of Hoya curtisii. This one seems to be a lot healthier and a little bit more um, sun stressed. These ones I like a lot. They just, I just find them really pretty. I can't wait for it to start really hanging over the pot. And I think over the summer they're gonna start doing that a lot more. And two more of these hanging Brazil philodendrons. I have a problem. And then I got two of these because a friend of mine really wants one. So um, these are goldfish plant. I think it's a type of lipstick plant maybe or columnia something. But I like them because it's green on this side and then red on the other side. And then the blooms actually look like goldfish. It's so cool. I got, oh, also from Cactus and Tropicals, just a regular Hartley philodendron. I think they're really pretty, but I prefer the Brazil more. But I do, I just love green foliage and I need a jungle during the winter while I'm depressed. Also, these are very low maintenance plants. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the views and I appreciate how kind you guys are with all of your comments. Most in the comments. Make sure that you guys subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button so you guys get notifications every time that I upload a video. To see that you guys really like my videos just kind of boosts my confidence, so thank you. Um, I did have a very good birthday. Thank you for all the birthday wishes, the happy birthday wishes. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my plants now. And let me know if you guys wanna see any more videos down in the comments. Let me know what you would like to see. And Cade's getting kind of cranky, so I'm going to go hang out with him. But hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions as well. I want to be friends. See you guys next time. No, don't touch.